Hello everybody, I'm Chris from Pearls Park Pass and today I'm gonna take you on a complete tour of the Ulani Resort in Hawaii. This is done by Disney and it's amazing. I'm just about to walk in the lobby, but you'll notice I'm wearing my white shirt and tie, but my white shirt's got pineapples because we're in Hawaii. This place is amazing. Let's walk in the lobby and start this tour here of the Ulani Resort. By the way, I always pronounce it Alani, but when I got here, people are like, it's actually pronounced Ulani. The more you know. Do you want to win a dream vacation to Alani? <laughs> Who doesn't? That's right, this week we are teaming up with Getaway Today and Disneyland Tour Guide on Instagram and giving away a thousand dollar credit that you can use to come here or on a Disneyland cruise or go to Disneyland or what, I mean, whatever you want. You can use it for anything you want. Anywhere that Getaway Today goes, you can use that credit. Here's how you qualify. One, you have to be subscribed to our channel here on YouTube. Easy peasy. Number two, go to Instagram and follow Getaway Today and follow Disneyland Tour Guide. That's it. If you do those three things, you are now qualified to win the $1,000 Dream Vacation. But if you want to get extra entries, here's what you have to do. On the most recent photo on Getaway Today's Instagram, type in Provost Park Pass. Then go over to Disneyland Tour Guide and on her most recent photo, type in Provost Park Pass. That is two extra entries. And when you're following them, they'll tell you how to even get more entries. I hope you win, guys. Come here, it's paradise. This is the main lobby when you come in. It's so fun and it's just amazing. You'll, this part down here, the floor, sometimes will light up periodically. You know, so this is a compass. See right here? You got south, north, east, and west. And that goes right along, this is a giant compass on the floor. That overlooks the whole resort here. Down here is where you go down to check in. There are two towers. There's the Wainai, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. If I mispronounce something, I'm not trying to be funny, I just, I don't know how to pronounce it. No disrespect to culture. It's Wainai Tower down there. And then if you go down here, you've got the Iwa Tower right down there. But I'm gonna show you right down here the view. This is so incredible, guys. You can just spend your whole vacation right here in this particular resort. It is gorgeous. Straight ahead there, that is kind of like a volcano, and it's got two slides in it, two uh, water slides. You'll notice down here is the Lazy River down here. I'll show you, I'll get closer and show you all this stuff. There's a play area for children right down there. The beach is down there. Also, look, 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 look guys, there's Mickey and Ludo down there, meet and greets. These are the towers right over here. This is where you stay. And this is on the other side. It's kind of like a little bit like a horseshoe. All done in, in like Hawaiian theming. And it is splendid. All right, let's go take a walk around. This place has multiple restaurants, five swimming pools, a lazy river, the beach, everything that you want to see. It's done by Disney. It is truly magical. We're gonna walk right outside here. I'm gonna kinda start showing you the grounds. There is Mickey and Pluto over there. That's for the character breakfast. They have a character breakfast. We're gonna be doing that in two days. And walk right through here. It is almost like you are in Paradise Garden. They have all kinds of awesome things. They have uh, scavenger hunts for children to do. They have activities for adults. This just isn't for children. This is, this is for adults too. Lots of fun things to do here. This over here is the koi pond, where they you know, have the koi for feeding. The guy looking at over here is this is the part of the lazy river. You can see the water goes through there, and it's entrance to the lazy river right there. There's multiple entrances into this lazy river. Moving along down here, when I first got here, I, w I was overwhelmed by how much there is to do. I mean, there is multiple things to do. They have stargazing at night. They have free ukulele lessons. They have make your own Mickey and Minnie ears. They have uh, scavenger hunts. They have hair braiding. All kinds of activities for any pretty much any member of your family, something for them to do. They have hiking. They have like uh, adventure trails. It is fun. Come on right down here. I came down here early because I wanted to try to get down here before the crowds so I could kind of show you everything there is to see. This is a fun little bridge here. This bridge takes you right up and over the Lazy River. And this Lazy River has something so unique. I'm excited to show you. We'll get to it in this moment, but it like winds and bends. You go through caves, there's waterfalls. It is just absolutely gorgeous. Right down here, we're gonna enter into the kid area where the kids can play. It's kind of like a splash adventure zone. 
Look at this. We spent the day here yesterday and Miles loved it. This is where it has like water fixtures, you know, sprays water, water's pouring out here, right and left center. Kids are running around up there, enjoying themselves, just being children, doing what they do and having a good time here in this splash zone, a little adventure zone. Right over there is the volcano. I'm gonna show you two things about this volcano that's so interesting. It's the, actually a water slide. And so there's two slides. There's one that's a tube slide and the other one is um, like a dark, like a completely enclosed water slide. So here's your tubes. You can either do a single tube or a two person tube to go down the slide, not a problem. But this is the lazy river right there. It goes from right there, down through there. And I'll show you over there in just a second. That's where it goes through like some waterfalls. But right over here, when they come down, they have it covered because it's closed right now. But when you come down a tube, they go, they go right here, blah, 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 blah. And it takes them right into the lazy river. It's got like a one-way entrance into the lazy river, which is so fun and cool. Miles did that probably 15 times yesterday. It just goes up and up and up. You walk right up the stairs and it takes you to the very top of the, to do the slides. This is what I think is probably one of the most amazing things that they have here. We got this amazing family here that's from San Francisco and their son Tyler told us all about it. And he's like, you gotta see this, it's amazing. It's the Rainbow Reef feeding area. Do you see this? You can swim in that water with the fish and help feed the fish. They do this about every half hour. We have an opportunity to go in here and see all the fish. You can swim right in there. This is so cool. I think it's amazing. You put on snorkel gear, you go snorkel with the, with the fish. And of course you come here, there's a little observation booth. They show you all, they have little placards of all the different fish. And I'll do a whole another video showing you this experience. But today is just a tour of Alani, just kind of walking through, showing you the whole resort. There's all kinds of little restaurants that are tucked away, like here, this is called the Lava Shack. It's right over there. Right over here, they have the Papalua Shave Ice. And then over here they have, this is like for like lunch. And this is the Hello, Goodbye, Aloha, I Love You. And you order your food here. These are just like real quick meals. Of course, they have some restrooms down here. This is a pool here. This is mostly for children, a children's pool. And I'll show you why this is so cool. It is a sloped pool, and it so it's easy for kids to get in and out of. And then it's also got some caves for the kids to kind of explore right over there. And that's where the enclosed slide comes out. I'll show you that once I get to the other side. But this pool is just phenomenal. You come right over here and you can see what I'm talking about when I say sloped entrance. It's like you're walking in the ocean. See right there? It's just sloped. It's a gradual decline. And at nighttime, they have lights in those pools. They light up and they kind of sparkle and shine. And right over here, this is the entrance down to the beach. I'll take you there in just a moment. This over here is the infinity pool and it's, it's for adults only. And you can see it, there's two levels. There's a level right here, and you walk right down there, there's another level down there where you go down to the infinity pool. And there's the, the beach, which I'll get to in just a moment. But isn't that gorgeous? This is just, this is a nice little area for adults to come relax. Then moving on over here, some other amenities. This here is a restaurant, one of the other restaurants they have. This is a, like if you want to, like you're eating and you want to sit down, have a, a more like heavier meal. Uh, so not just a snack, you come and sit down here, but they'll also bring it to you if you like are sitting at the chairs, they'll bring you your food as well, which is awesome. Here it is, it's called Off the Hook. We ate here yesterday, guys, and oof, it was so good. They had a full service bar there. They make all kinds of drinks for uh, children and adults, all kinds of sweet beverages there. Then over here, this is where the enclosed slide comes down. See right over there, the enclosed slide? It's right there. It's 100% like enclosed, it's dark. And I think that's Miles' favorite. Drops them right off this little pool right here, they get out, or they can swim through there into the children's area. This is what always happens to me whenever I've had the opportunity to visit Hawaii, is because of the time difference, right? You come in, the time difference, it's like a three hour time difference or so. So, bink, I wake up, it's 4 a.m. in the morning, which is normally like seven in the morning or six in the morning my time. And so I'm always like, ah, oh, I'm awake, it's four in the morning. And then I can't go back to sleep. Then at nighttime, it gets to be like 
<laughs> like eight o'clock at night and I'm just like dragging. I'm like, oh, I'm so tired, guys. They were like, it's only eight o'clock at night. I know, but still. Walking back here, just to kind of give you a perspective of where we are, this is the children's, like the sloped pool that we're talking about. And we're gonna walk right behind me. There are more pools and things to explore before we even get down to the beach. This here lights up in the nighttime. The, the light the lights up there and you see it. These reefs, coral, lights up at night for people to enjoy. It is really cool. It's a fun place to relax. And as you see, this kind of has like a little infinity. It drops off right here. And this is just, this is a fun little area for families to hang out at. It gets a little deep here where it does the infinity. It takes us right out to the beach. And then here they can kind of splash and play in this area right here. There is a hot tub right there. That hot tub's drained. There's other hot tubs, but this is just so cool. And then at nighttime, they have lights in this. It lights right up. I know you're probably thinking, you're like, well, let's get to the beach. But there's more pools. I have to show you more pools, and then I'll show you the beach. This tower right here, at the bottom, there's like a little cafe there. What is interesting is, guess what, guys? They sell Disney popcorn. <laughs> We've already hit it twice with Amanda. So that's where you get your Disney popcorn right in there, kind of relax, and it's kind of fun over there. <laughs> I think it's fun. Then turning left, I'm gonna take you to the last pool, which I think is, is such a pretty, I and mean, all of them are pretty. But this pool here, this is the nice little entrance pool, entrance to the pool. You look here, it's got like little waterfalls that on the edge, and then this is a very shaded area. So during the sun, so during like noontime when it gets warm, you can just come sit right here in the shade and just kind of relax. Right underneath there, you kind of see that line. That is like a little bench. You can sit right there and just kind of have that water just drip on your head or just kind of relax. Continuing on the tour, this is a fun little area. This is like a splash pool for children. I just, there's so much, there's so much to see here, guys. I'm trying my best to show everything I can, but I love this. Look right down here. Nice little splash pool. And I think it's so fun to see because they have the markings of how deep it is. Two inches, five centimeters. <laughs> you know, as you come down here, it is an octopus. See that little octopus? And it does, it, it, it shoots up lot water, has lights, there's the eight tentacles of the octopus. And this is just fun. Families come here, little ones can sit in the water, they can splash and play. Speaking of octopuses, do you know how you tickle an octopus? You have to give it 10 tickles. Let's do, I think we've all kind of been waiting for us to see the beach. I'll take you down to the beach. They have their own like private lagoon that they've dug out. Of course you have your showers when you come off the sandy beach to wash off. You walk right down here. You can rent paddle boards. You can rent boogie boards. They have snorkel sets if you want to rent them. The boogie boards are actually, if you're staying here at Lani, are included. Oh, there it is guys. What they've done is when they made this, they kind of dug this area out and let the water come in here. They have breakers right there. What the breakers are, you see the waves coming in? It really stops the waves, they hit on those rocks. So then they get smaller waves. It's perfect for children. You're not gonna get huge giant waves. You don't have a lot of undercurrent sucking you out to the sea. It's perfect. Right here you can rent the paddle boards. This area from that sign over here is all for swimming. And then you see, you take these adventures. They have these catamaran adventures. And they go out, you can do that, it costs a little extra, you can get on those catamarans, they'll take you right out into the ocean, not just in this cove area. The paddle boarding, you stay, you stay within the lagoon. And if you look over here, this, there's a lot of people are walking along, because this trail just goes, Miles and Amanda are actually walking on it, maybe we can find it a little later on. This is a nice little beach area, and you can just come here and just relax for the day. That's what, that's what we did, we just came here, we relaxed for the whole day yesterday and it was gorgeous. What we did is we set up our chairs right here. At, like we got up pretty early, came down here, found a nice little spot, and then we played in the ocean. And then we go back and forth to the pool, to the ocean, to the pool, to the ocean. Just kind of sand off, wash ourselves, sand off, come back down and relax here by the, uh, the beach. And then we go back up to the pool. We took a nap 
It was just a really delightful day. If you want to come stay here, we have the best prices for you. You just need to book your getaway today. We have a link down below. Just look for the getaway today link and you can book your tropical paradise vacation here at Alani. Now, if you book it, let us know because we would love to see you guys here. You can also just give them a call, 1-855-GETAWAY and say that you're friends with us at Provost Park Pass. All right, I'm, I'm gonna take you and I gotta show you the spa and some of the other restaurants that are inside the resort. But before we do that, I thought I'd kind of look at this little walking trail. This is like amazing, it goes right out here. I thought I'd just kind of walk along that trail and just show that to you and then we'll come back here. By the way, remember we saw that was called the Off The Hook restaurant? That's right there. There's also some spaces right there to eat at, which is cool. They have this really cool place that you can rent and reserve if you want to. Um, costs a little bit extra, but you can rent. See this, look how cool this is. You can really rent like these cabanas and stay right here, this little area, and just kind of relax at the beach view if you want to. All right, let's take a look at this trail. This is a perfect place for people who just want to get up in the morning, go a nice little walk. The air is really, always smells so good in Hawaii. I love it. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to walk all the way out to that point over there. And when I do, I'm gonna turn the camera off. When I get to that point, I will turn the camera back on and so you can see what it looks like from there. Also, I just wanted to say thank you for joining me on this little uh, tour of Ulani. I appreciate you spending your time with me. I really do, you guys are awesome. I just thought I'd show you this map. We're in a little area, it's called Ko Olina, I think is how you pronounce that. Right here is the Ulani Disney Resort and Spa. That's what we're staying at. That was the, right here, if you're looking up ahead, that is the lagoon that we're looking at right there. But you notice that they have also, as you walk, if you want to walk along this trail, there is other lagoons that you can go see. It's really conducive for walking. I had to just turn it back on. I just wanted to share this with you guys. I just think it's so pretty. There's the Lani Resort right there. Walked along this pathway right over here. As you come over here, you see, this is where I, I want to go out here. I want to walk out there to the point. But if you wanted to, you could continue on and the pathway goes right through there. It looks amazing. They have these little rock areas where you can sit, just kind of relax, look at the ocean. <gasps> you guys, I see Amanda. I saw, my gosh, I see Amanda. That's Amanda. I have to go over there. That's Amanda, Miles, and Sweet D. No way. This is the resort and it looks so pretty. I feel like it kind of recharges you with nature. I'm now gonna go over there and catch up with the fam. I kind of walked out here on the reef. You can see the amazing, amazing waves coming in here. And these waves, this is there's no breakers, some of them get pretty big and the water splashes right up. But look right over there. Who do I see? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, check out these tide pools. Okay, let's check out the tide pools. Here comes Sweet D and Amanda. I couldn't believe I spotted you guys from right over there. Hi. All right, Miles, look at those shoes you got on, little, these aqua socks. But you, were just, Miles was just telling me, he's like, Dad, you know what we're walking on? What are we walking on? Lava. Lava. Cool down lava, but yes. Can you believe this came out of a volcano? There's tide pools everywhere. Tide pools everywhere. So if I step in a tide pool, it doesn't bother me because I have water shoes. Right. Right. There, there are little tide pools everywhere. They get a little water in here. Amanda loves tide pools. That was from her time at SeaWorld. Yes. Tide pools are teeming with animal life. So we try not to step in them. <laughs> that comes a good wave. <laughs> it makes you happy. I don't know why. Water is very therapeutic. Oh, look at that. I just think waves are so great. So therapeutic. I love the ocean and I love mountains. I just, I love them both so much. Sometimes I've had people ask me, like, well, if you could choose one or the other, would you choose an ocean or mountain? I, you can't, you just can't. There it is. There's the resort right through there. I'm walking along. You and Miles are out exploring. Yes. You run into your mom. Sweet D's out there jogging like crazy. How far do you jog? So there's a great jogging path from the right from the Alani. Yeah. And you go, I think, south. It's about 
a mile and a half one way and then back and it's beautiful people are walking jogging running it's amazing it's, it's, it's a, along it, the beach it's, it's a lot of fun I want to do it tomorrow. Miles said he'll run with me. You so. can see who's the fitness guru in our family. <laughs> no, as you can see, we're like, we're like ah. Sweet dude is like, hey, do you want to go running? I'm like, are there pastries involved in this? Pastries, <laughs> Dolwyn, white chocolate covered pineapple. Well, there goes Nana and Miles. They're off to jog. <laughs> He's picking up speed. Whoa, They're jogging. It's always more fun when we get these videos and I'm running to you and you're here to help me do the videos. I love it. I don't know how you found me. <laughs> I was hiding behind the hedge in the tide pools and then I look over and I saw a bright white shirt tie. And I was like, ah! Oh! Chris Provost. Oh, there it is, babe. That's the resort. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's one of those places. So I went and I walked. I didn't jog, but I went and walked with Miles around. And this is one of those places that when you see it, you're like, oh, I want to stay here. Like, I, I wish I was here. I want to stay here. Oh, I just, I love it. And it totally captures the Hawaiian style and the Aloha spirit, with just little touches of Disney magic. So it's not like in your face Mickey Mouse, in your face Disney. You truly get the whole Hawaiian experience, but it's done the way Disney would do it. The little teeny tiny of Disney. Okay, I want to touch on something that Amanda just said. I'm going to try to explain it. I don't know, and she's so much more eloquent than I am, but we'll try. It's a resort run by Disney, but it doesn't feel like a Disney resort. Does that make sense at yeah. all? It is wonderful. I love the touches of Disney in it. I love it's, it. I feel like it's at an elevated level. It is just gorgeous and fun. It's, it's uh, not in your face. And it's a much more relaxing experience than like a theme park where you're just totally like overstimulated and it's just Mickey Mouse everywhere, bright colors everywhere. This is like ah, Disney in Hawaii. Beat it. You can't beat this place. It's perfect. There are so many activities and things for you to do when you come here to the Lonely Resort. I'm gonna do a whole nother video just on like the things that you can do, like the scavenger hunts, the storytelling, the stargazing, and the ukuleles. And I'll show you all that. I'll do another video about that. But this is just a tour. So now let me take you back into the resort to show you. Oh, by the way, by the way, I have to show you this. Like this is like you come here, you can rent, you can rent like your snorkel set, you could get a stand-up paddleboard. Boogie boards are included uh, for free, but if you want to get like a snorkel set, it's like $25 per day or paddle board is at $45 per hour. And then you have that Hawaiian selling canoe. That looks so awesome. I really like to do something like that. This opens, I think at 11. Yeah, it opens at 11 and it's early. Okay, so it's early in the morning. We're out here pretty early. And this is where you get your Dole Whips. They have pineapple and watermelon swirl. But the thing that I really thought was amazing was this fruit on a stick. It's this white chocolate dipped pineapple and then they put it in toasted coconut shavings. And it's frozen. Oh, so good. Okay, continuing on. I get distracted. It's the week that we're giving away this amazing June vacation, guys. And this is Jen from Getaway Today. You need to be following her on Instagram at Getaway Today. So, Jen, tell them, why do they need to know about Getaway Today? We're kind of a big deal. First off, we work with you, which is the best Stop. thing. Stop, oh my gosh. But most importantly, we will help you have that dream vacation. You don't spend any more for us, in fact, we'll save you a ton of money and take care of you every single step of the way. Yeah. There's a lot to know on a vacation. Here, here's the thing, yeah. before I started Provost Park Pass, I used to come to Disneyland all the time, and who did I book all my vacations through? Get away today because I get the best prices. So seriously, I love them. Make sure you're following them, guys. They will help you plan your best vacations. But let's just take a few seconds to talk about the tie. Is palm trees, and then you got the Hawaiian shirt. I'm trying to blend in, you know, be like a local. I know, I know. Okay, continue on. Now I'm taking inside. Remember, there's the two major buildings right over there. Is this building over here, and then this building over here. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna walk right in here. I'm gonna show you the spa and also the fitness area where you can get your fitness on. And this is the Waiani Tower, I believe. We just walk right in, we turn left, and right down here, this is where they have their fitness and the spa. Now, if you remember, we just did a whole video on the Tanaya Spa. You can watch it over here. Uh, well, maybe it's over here, I'm not really sure about the Disney spa just at the Grand Californian Hotel. That was the second spa that Disney did in its entirety. This is the first spa right here. So you come right down here to the spa. It is gorgeous. I can't go in the spa because I don't have an appointment. 
right down here is where you do your fitness. So let me go ahead down here and show you the fitness room. This is the fitness room. They have lots of um, Peloton bikes. They've got weights. They've got everything you need in order to, to get your fitness on. And I love this. Let's check out this giant screen of the sea turtles while you're working out. Okay, I'm back here. This is the main lobby area where you check in for your vacation. It is, it's really cool. We've, this is where the tour started. I'm just gonna come down here. I thought I'd show you some of the shops. Let's take a look at some of the different shops. Again, that's the, that's where you come in. Walk right in here. And this view, this is gorgeous. Look how pretty it is. And it's open so you can see right outside. It's just amazing. This is where you get like all the different, like they have merchandise, your Alani merchandise, they have drinks and beverages. And then of course they have like a little market stuff that you need to. And of course they have the exclusive Lani Hawaii Resort merchandise, which is fun to look at. We were looking at this yesterday, trying to decide what do we like. It's fun to look at. Island time. Never bored, goofy. And then as you walk down here, you go down here and you see they have fine apparel and gifts right over here. Look at this, this is cool stuff. This is where you get your like, nice little Hawaiian shirts, but look at this guys, let me show you what's cool about this, look. Do you see? A little hidden Mickey right there. All right, I just learned something. The store is, is Holly Manu. Holly is bird. Holly is house. Holly is house, and Manu is bird. So is this called the, the house of the bird? And if you look up at the ceiling, it's just so many birds. My mind is blown by this store. Each one of these birds I just found out was hand carved by Disney employees, okay? The mural, that was also hand painted by Disney artists. So everything you're looking at here, this is Disney. Wow. Everything you're seeing here is native Hawaiian. Like all of it, uh, the flowers, the birds. Now I just kind of learned a, uh, a little bit of a sad story. See like these birds here, these are yellow. These were a lot of the yellow birds with yellow feathers were over harvested. And the reason was, is that they would, the, it was for royalty. Kings would have like these cloaks made of these yellow feathers. Then as you went down the line, if you were like all yellow, that's the highest you get. And then as you went down the line, you'd mix in like red, and, and yellow and red, then yellow and red, and then mostly just red. That meant kind of like, there's the hierarchy. But because of that, a lot of those birds that with yellow feathers, they are no longer here with us anymore. Of course, they've got art right over here. Oof. I thought I would end this video by showing you the view from our room so you see the whole resort. As you see down there is the Lazy River. That's where the uh, water slide's going now. You can see it right down there. Lazy River continues on down below. You see that they have a little water that kind of spray on you. There's the koi pond where they, they have the koi right there. Continuing on right down there. This is the play area for the children. That is the Rainbow Reef feeding area. More, there's more swimming pools. There's one back there you can't see back here. And of course, you've got the beach. It is truly paradise. Oh, I really hope you've enjoyed this full tour of Alani. Thank you for spending your time with me. If you could, hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you so much. And then I wanna do another video about all the different activities that you can do here at Alani. So stay tuned for that. You guys are special and amazing. And thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day, guys. And I think you say aloha.